Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. Hey, I'm going to keep it 100. Look, at the end of the day, I know these LeBron James nut huggers ain't going to like this video, but I'm going to say it. And I'm going to just put it out there. Depending on what happens tomorrow, if I'm the Lakers, I would seriously, and when I say seriously, when I say I would seriously consider packaging LeBron, Lonzo Ball, another player, a first round draft pick, next and a year after next, and a second round pick for the rights to draft Zion Williamson. I really think the Lakers should shop LeBron James around. They really should. You know. I, I just think that LeBron need to go somewhere where he could just finish his career, just basically whatever the case may be, trying to pad his stats or what, whatever. I still don't think if LeBron James lands, you know, Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis, that doesn't guarantee him a trip to the finals and that the Lakers win it all. Like I said, keep in mind, once again, everybody, LeBron James is in his 16th NBA season. He will be 35 on December the 29th. That is a lot of wear and tear. LeBron James has a lot of mileage on him. A lot. And you saw signs this year that LeBron James was slowing down. LeBron James' best years are behind him. And I think the Lakers should make a move right now. Start young. Build that team from the ground up. Let's, the Lakers are $35 million under the salary cap. Why not try to draft Zion Williams, Zion Williamson, Sign Anthony Davis and then try to see that you get Kawhi Leonard. And then you build the team around those three instead of LeBron James. A lot of people don't understand. It's very difficult to play with LeBron James because, like I said, when he loses, it's everybody else's fault but his. But when he wins, you have these LeBron James nut huggers like Nick Rong and a couple of other people that will say, oh my God, he's better than Michael Jordan. This is, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Sure you have. But this is what you get. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of people secretly do not wanna play alongside LeBron James. I know Kyrie Irving is considering joining the Lakers because let's just face the fact, if the Lakers get Kyrie Irving, unless Kyrie Irving plays for a discount, which I doubt very seriously Kyrie Irving is going to play for a discount, they will not have enough money to sign Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard, and Anthony Davis all at the same time. Unless one of them agrees to do a short-term contract and they do a little tweaking, but I doubt very seriously if either one of those dudes are going to play for what you would be surprised. If they do, that's fine. But it's just time to tell the truth about LeBron James, man. These LeBron James, you know, nut huggers, they just don't be wanting to hear it. Because like I said, at the end of the day, they can sit up here and hate on Kevin Durant all they want. But check this out. Kevin Durant is more successful at NBA championships than LeBron James is because Kevin Durant is you know what I'm saying 2 and 1 in NBA finals LeBron James is what 3 and 6 and you can holler about the Golden State Warriors excuse all you want can't change anything at the end of the day Kevin Durant done it better so you LeBron James nut huggers can make all the excuses that you want. But at the end of the day, I would consider 
moving LeBron James based off who gets the first overall pick tomorrow. And I hope my brother's Ticket TV, I hope, you know what I'm saying, Two Raw TV, see this video and respond to this. Because I'm anxious to hear what these guys got to say about this shit. Because I value their opinion when it comes to this basketball shit. But anyway, real talk. I'm out.